strict. We had a teacher who was so strict, you weren't allowed to stand out the front going, no breathing. And you had the whole morning to get through. <gasps> the weak ones just used to keel over and die. You'd hear them going down behind you. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. And there was always a whiny kid going, me, can I go out and do some breathing? And she'd say, no, you've got to die. Then I'll go on, miss, I'll go on. Do you know, at the beginning of the week, there were five kids in my class. At the end of the week, there were only 48 of them left. Yeah, do you know, at the end of the day, you'd be stepping over kids just to get out the room. Oh no, there's Melanie. There's Dave. That's a shame, she's really nice. Do you know, people say to me, if that's true, how come you're looking? Fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's because when I was at school, we used to sit at kids. We didn't sit round tables like you do now. We used to sit at kids with lids, and some of us figured out what you had to do was snatch a quick breath under the desk lid when she wasn't looking. So once more, from the beginning, no breathing. <gasps> the weak ones, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. The whiny ones, miss, gotta go and do some breathing. <laughs> oh, go on, miss, oh, go on. Us lot. <laughs> Ah, that was the mistake, slamming the desk lid down. If you made a noise with the desk lid, it was out, school prison. So I figured it out. What you had to do was put your thumb round the edge of the desk lid. So when it went down, it didn't make any noise at all. Once more, from the beginning. No. <laughs> the weak ones, kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. The whiny ones, miss. Got to go out and do some breathing. These other kids. <laughs> Boom. Out. School prison. <laughs> Me. Thumb round the edge of the desk. <laughs> no noise at all. Survival. Chocolate cake. When I was a boy, I had a favourite treat. It was when my mum is dead. My mum, she says to me, listen, Michael, if there's any chocolate cake left over at the end of the day, you can die. So I used to go to school with a Dave in my little box and I'd be walking to school. Yeah, <laughs> and I'd get to school. And it would be playtime or lunchtime, and I'd open up the box, take it out. What's it to go to the chocolate cake? Yeah, Mmm! I loved my mum. Yes. And one time there was some chocolate cake left over at the end of the day. And I went to bed and I was fast asleep. And then, chocolate cake. <laughs> Maybe I could go downstairs and have a little look at it. No one would know. So I got up out of the bed, shh, I mustn't wake my brother up, along the passage, careful not to tread on the creaky floorboard outside mum and dad's bedroom, because if they wake up and find me, I'll be in big trouble, so really quiet. Are they still asleep? Yes, okay. Along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, Open the cupboard and yeah! He's gonna take it out. It. And then I notice some little crumbs on the plate. So I think if I lick the end of my finger, I could pick up some of those crumbs 
and no one would know anything about it. Oh, yeah, a little, a little sort of sticky bit of it. If I take a knife, I could just tidy it up a little bit. No one would notice. <coughs> Dead. But as I've tidied it up a little bit over here, then maybe I could just even it up a bit over here. So I take the knife again, and this time through the mum. <coughs> and I've got a whole slice this time, yeah. And it's all gonna go in there. It's a belly, belly, belly. <laughs> And now I got the taste of it in my mouth, and I can't stop myself, so I go, you push, 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 and I got all these slices, and I can't stop myself. Oh no! It's all gone! Oh no! They're bound to notice now. A whole chocolate cake doesn't just disappear. What am I gonna do? I know. Good thinking. And the knife, and wash it up, Shh, really quiet. Shh. And don't forget the knife. Take the plate, wash out the plate. Shh. And don't forget to dry up, get the cloth. And the knife. Shh. Shh. And don't forget to put them away in the drawer, plate, in the cupboard. Good thinking. And back up to bed. Shh. Up the stairs. Doop, 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 doop. Along the passage. Now I know where the creaky floorboard is now, so all I've got to do is tread over it, because if I tread on it and it makes a noise, I am dead. Careful now. Are they still asleep? Yes, it's okay. Into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. <sighs> nice, warm feeling, chocolate cake in my belly. Goody, 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 goody. And I go to sleep. In the morning, I get up, go downstairs, and I'm having my breakfast. And mum is busy over there, and she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, don't forget your book folder. She hands me my book folder. And I'm busy having my breakfast. She's busy over there. She's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, there's something else. There's something nice. There's some chocolate cake left over from yesterday for you to take to school today. And I went, oh, yeah. And she says, what? the chocolate cake's gone. You haven't eaten the whole of the rest of the chocolate cake, have you? And I said, I don't know. You don't know, she said, you don't know. I don't believe a word of it. Now off you go to chocolate blob. And I looked at it and I thought, maybe next time we have chocolate cake, she'll... Do you think she will? <laughs>